Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the reaction video. And we've got another ERB reaction. And today we're doing Jacus, uh, Jacu Stowe versus Steve Irwin. Now, I know who Steve Irwin is. If you guys don't know, I have a level 3 extended deployment in animal care. I love me animals. Uh, and I appreciate everything Steve Irwin has done for us. Uh, did for us, even. Uh, his son as well is doing absolutely great things for the animal world. Uh, Jack Cousteau, I'm not familiar. I don't know if he's a rival kind of a rival to Steve Irwin in, in the kind of same industry, or is he maybe the exact opposite? Was he like an extreme hunter or something? Uh, I'm sure I'll find out uh, in the reaction. Also, if you guys are previous subscribers here, you know there's a little black bar now at the bottom of the screen. You know you should do those things it says. Um, so yeah, I, I recorded a, a video before this as well, where I, okay, so basically the story is, I claimed that my microphone was unplugged and it was, uh, and so I recorded a video, I was like, ah, oh, it's all fixed, so I recorded, I think it was like a 25 minute long reaction video too, I'm not going to tell you what, because I'm going to refilm it, um, and it was so bad that I had to, I just, I, there's no recovering it basically because the audio was just that atrocious uh, but all should be fixed now if this video goes up I finally got the audio correct so uh, yeah anyway we love Epic Rap Battles of Fit three here so uh, let's just get straight into this guys Jack Gusto for Steve Irwin let's go Jack Gusto Interesting. He's on a boat. Is he a sailor? That's a decent. It's not. It's not a bad Steve Owen impression. I'm trying to pick up what, where he's from. Is he French? Let me know in the comments. Uh, <coughs> desperate sweaty showman. Steve Irwin was by far a, a very good showman, but it wasn't like a, he wasn't desperate. It was uh, a showman in terms of uh, conserving wildlife, uh, which is very noble. Obviously, guys. I'm going to be biased to Steve Irwin on this one. That's just not nice. Was Steve Irwin in Doctor Doolittle 2? I don't remember. He must have been important then. Bill Murray played him. Tell me what film he's from as well, because I love films, so I'll, I'll watch it at some point. Yeah, he really went there. I, I was I, I was expecting uh, one of them to bring it up. Yeah. It was so unfortunate because it hit him. I'm pretty sure it stung him right in the heart. Um... And it's so sad because now whenever when everyone thinks of a stingray, they they associate it with that. But that is it, the, you have to go. You guys have to understand the chances of that killing someone, a stingray killing you, is so astronomically low. He was just so unlucky that where it uh where the barb hit him, uh yeah, the chances of that are so astronomically low, and they've got such a bad rep for it now. Um, uh, but genuinely, they you they are harmless creatures usually. <laughs> Oh, also, I'd like to say, do people pet stingrays at aquariums? I've, I've been to a few aquariums. I've never petted a stingray before. It's an interesting accent uh, Epic Lloyd's putting on. And yeah, that was a, that was a low blow. If you notice the angle they're filming on, it's kind of common. If you if you guys have watched uh, Steve Irwin clips, he's always on the floor. He's always getting filmed uh, in a, in, a, in an odd position. Uh, so yeah, this is really good. Oh, 
I'm going from Croc to Jocks Hunter. Uh, I can't remember. Was his nickname the Crocodile Hunter or something? Uh, but yeah, Steve Irwin was very famous for, uh, with crocodiles. He had, um, what is it? He had that famous clip where he was just casually holding his kid uh, next to a crocodile. And that crocodile would have easily eaten that child. But he was just so confident. He knew what he was doing that it was really just not a risk at all. He's quite a cut. Quite, he's quite a, a Smurf hat, and that was uh, uh, a trio of beautiful disses. Let's just hear them again. That's some good wordplay. How young was his first ball son? Please let me know in the comments. French. Okay, so he was French as well. Um, and he said embrace your French nature and surrender. The French are very famous throughout history for surrendering. Um, I believe that was the end of his verse. Yeah, that. Uh, so, okay. First round, I'm going to give that to Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin was uh, a lot more aggressive and had some very uh, humorous disses. Uh, let's see if Jacusto can come back. Nazi. I didn't get that one. That's all right, but okay, that's that is quite a beatable round in my opinion. Silent World, is that the, is that a documentary or film Jack Cousteau made? Let me know in the comments. Did he throw C4 on the sea floor? That's also uh, a, a, a good flow uh, and good wordplay, but if he actually did that, you know, kind of a dick move. Okay. Had to get didgeridoo in there. Okay, guys, that is going to be my reaction to uh, Jack Cousteau versus Steve Irwin. Uh, in my opinion, well, obviously, it's a biased opinion because of what I said at the start of the video. Uh, Steve Irwin won that. Although I am going to say the second round these these fellas had wasn't as good as I'm used to on ARB. It was kind of it was all right. It was kind of mid in my opinion. The last two verses, the first two the the first verses from the two have absolutely excellent. But second, not not a big fan. Uh, yeah. So, but I'm going to give this one to Steve Irwin. If you guys disagree with me comment down below and tell me why uh and while you're scrolling down there make sure you subscribe because that's what we like to do here uh i will see you guys in the next video have a lovely day thank you for watching